Hello there. We're starting this video looking at one of the worst visualizations you'll ever see me use, but for good reason. Um, I want to take this visualization and I want to use it to show you how to bin or group data using Vega Lite in Deneb. It's something that you can do natively within Power BI, but I kind of prefer the functionality in Vega Lite because you can be very precise about what you want to see and how you want to see it. So let's take a look and go inside to Vega Lite in Deneb. So if you don't know what any of this is, if you don't know how to create a basic bar chart, no worries, just check out one of my previous videos on this subject and it'll get you there, no problem. But we're gonna keep going with this, we're gonna dive into it, and we're gonna do some grouping and binning with Vega Lite. Um, no stress, this is a short video because it's pretty straightforward, but very effective. So here, our Y axis is currently saying the field that we're using is name. And this is this whole mess of garbage you can see on my current Y axis. And the field we're using is total points. So we're displaying the total points by player name. We don't want to do that anymore. So within my Y axis, I just need to change a couple of things. So I'm going to start really straightforward. I'm going to say bin. And then I'm going to say true, because we want to use bins. Great. And the field is no longer going to be name. Our field is going to be the total points. Why? Because we're going to bin the total points values and group them. So bin is true and field is total points. I just forgot my comma there. So I'll stick it in. Now we're all good. Now if I apply those changes, you'll see immediately that it has worked. The, the grouping has changed. Our bins have been created just as we want. How are the values at oh, this point? Not good. Um, if you look across the X axis, you see these values. What we want is on the X axis to no longer show the total points. What we want to show now is the number of values that exist in the groups that we've just created. And to do it, all we have to do is delete this current X axis and write in something different. We're going to say aggregate. And we want to say that our aggregation is going to be count. So we're saying simply count the number of values that exist within total points. And we're counting the number of players because as you saw before, we had the player names in this visualization. And because that's what we're using, that's what it's going to count. The number of players and the names that exist within the groups that we've just created. So if I apply those changes now, you will see that now we have something that makes sense. If we use a tooltip, we can see that in this count of records is 111. So there's 111 records within the zero to 50 group that we just created. There's 172 records within this 50 to 100 group that we just created. Makes sense, straightforward. There are a couple of more things that I want to change before we get there. So I'm just clean that up a little bit with this button. So you can see here we have Y bin is true. Um, what I want to do is to display this in a nicer way, because as I've said, you have some nice functionality to how you can display your bins. So instead of having 050, 5100, I want to display basically the group on the Y axis. And it's really easy to do that because all I've got to do right here is say type some of the data type is going to be ordinal. And when I apply those changes, see there you get a really nice group name. It's very clear what that group is, 0 to 50 to 50 to 100. I like that a lot, much nicer. And of course, we can just clean it up a little bit and say I want to order that by um, descending rather than ascending. So sort, and I'm going to say descending. There you go. So we have a group set up zero to 50, et cetera. The count of records is correct and it looks pretty clean. So that is how you create your bins within Vega Lite. I'm gonna show you just a couple of more things now because you can make those bins a bit more precise based on whatever you want. So the first thing that you can do is you can specify the, the max bins. Um, so if you look in the documentation for Vega Lite, they will explain about the defaults that it shows you when you're using bins. So to kind of go around those defaults, instead of saying bin true, I'm going to replace that. And I'm just going to say, I want my bin to have a max 
bin and I'm just gonna and I'm going to say whatever like 20 for example so then you can see your max bin value is being changed to 20. So you're basically going around that default of the number of bins it gives you when you first use bins. But what I prefer though, is to be able to say myself what I want the range of those bins to be. So instead of saying zero to 20, 20 to 40, what if I want it to be much more precise and say I want it to be in groups of 13, for example, just pick a number, yeah? So instead of saying now max bins 20, I'm going to say step and I'm going to say step and then I'm going to say 13 because that's what I said I wanted to see. Now you have that 0 to 13, 13 to 26, 26 to 39, etc, etc. You get it, you can do the maths. Um, and you can really, when you, when you start using step, you can do whatever you want. So step 5, you can be ridiculously precise and say step one if you ever want to do that but that would make no sense right um so again you can be as precise as you want with your steps and i really like that functionality because you can just write it in there and you know exactly the values that you're going to get and through using the type ordinal you're displaying the group name in a very nice way so depending on the data that you're that you're using you can set that up exactly how you want to see it and that's it i promise a short video this is short. Um, that's how you use bins in Vega Lite. I hope you like it. I hope you find some use for it. Um, I certainly do. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, as ever, like, subscribe, all the YouTube type things. And uh, thank you very much. Take care and goodbye.